You know, one of the reasons we got interested in AI from the very beginning is that we always viewed our mission as a timeless mission. It's to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. But as information has grown in scale and complexity, you know, the problem has gotten harder. So we always knew we needed to have a deeper breakthrough to make progress. I've worked on AI my whole life because I've always felt it would be the most beneficial and consequential technology for humanity. Human beings in our society would have five senses and the world we built and the media we consume is in those uh, different modalities. So I'm super proud and excited to announce the launch of the Gemini era, a first step towards a truly universal AI model. The Gemini approach to multimodality is all the kinds of things you want uh, an artificial intelligence system to be able to do. And these are th capabilities that haven't really existed in computers before. Traditionally, multimodal models are created by stitching together text-only, vision-only, and audio-only models in a suboptimal way at a secondary stage. Gemini is the multimodal from the ground up, so it can seamlessly have a conversation across modalities and give you the best possible response. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do uh, and absorb any type of input and output. So not just text like most models, but also code, audio, image and video. What's amazing about Gemini is that it's so good at so many things. As we started getting to the end of the training, uh, we started seeing that Gemini was better than any other model out there on these very, very important benchmarks. For example, each of the 50 different subject areas that we tested on, um, it's as good as the best expert humans in those areas. It's very rare that you can work on a technology at a foundational level and it simultaneously can impact all our products. We created a family of models that can run on everything from mobile devices to data centers, each of which is actually best in class. Gemini will be available in three sizes. Gemini Ultra, our most capable and largest model for highly complex tasks. Gemini Pro, our best performing model for a broad range of tasks. And Gemini Nano, our most efficient model for on-device tasks. We want to provide the best foundational building blocks. And then we know um, developers and enterprise customers are going to figure out really creative ways to further refine our Gemini foundational models and the potential is almost limitless. So at Google, there's this healthy disregard for the impossible, and that has oriented us to be both bold and responsible together. As these systems become more capable, all of those capabilities also raise new questions. We have to think about what it means to have an image be a part of, for example, the input. Because an image might be innocuous on its own, or text might be innocuous on its own, but the combination could be offensive or hurtful. Safety and responsibility has to be built in from the beginning. And at Google DeepMind, that's what we've done with Gemini. We develop proactive policies and adapt those to the unique considerations of multimodal capabilities. We then do rigorous testing against those policies to prevent the harms that we've identified with approaches like classifiers and filters. If I were to look at the foundational breakthroughs in AI over the past decade, Google has been at the forefront of many of those breakthroughs. And I think Gemini continues that rich tradition. It's been an enormous sort of monumental engineering task, which has been, you know, very challenging, but also very exciting. I have been at Google for quite a while. And the reason I'm here is really, I believe in the company's mission. And I think Gemini is a great step in that overall mission. We end up with a world that has more knowledge and that people have more access to information that otherwise would not be available to them. That's what excites me, the chance to make AI helpful for everyone, everywhere in the world.